to our student athletes today, uh, first and foremost, congratulations. Uh, to our parents, congratulations. In some ways, it's a little bit of a, in some small way, maybe a return on investment. Um, I can only think of the hours spent uh, getting kids from points A to B, feeding them, sometimes feeding them again, taking them to a third place that day, then feeding them again. Thank you for the support that you provided them in good times, which is very easy. And then also for supporting them maybe on a day they fell short. We appreciate everything that you do. We're here to support you and your kids in any way that we can. And today is, it, it, honestly, it's one of the best days that I have every year, seeing kids with the ability to move on and continue as collegiate athletes. We will start today's program with Ethan Freeland. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. Watch your knees, Coach Cruz. Our first signee today is Ethan Freeland. Ethan will continue his football career at Georgetown College. Ethan is currently sitting with a 3.91 grade point average. Ethan was a, whoop, whoop. Ethan was a first team all conference selection. He led the ECC in total tackles. He was first team all city performer, second team all district performer, Loveland defensive player of the year, and he was first team all stars for Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. Other activities include, he's a member of the green team, and this is a first for me, he's also friends with Mr. Bryant and Mr. Lyons. <laughs> it's the first time in 15 years. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Ethan Freeland. <laughs> take, your name, take your name tag so you can remember who you are. All right. Congratulations. I love your kid. Thank you. <laughs> Our next student athlete is Noah Klein. Be careful sitting down. I will. Okay. Congratulations. Congratulations. Mom and dad can sit. Two youngsters can stand in the back, right? Get some symmetry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next signee is Noah Klein. Noah will be continuing his football career at Valparaiso University. Noah currently sits with a grade point average of 4.3. Noah is a three-year varsity starter, senior captain, second team all-conference recognition, second team all-district, four-year all-conference, all-academic. In, in addition to football, Noah also participates in track and field. He throws a shot in this. Thank you for pointing that out to me, I assumed, but you never want to assume, right? <laughs> he's also in the National Honor Society, uh, volunteer at a care center, and he's also a mentor for Loveland Youth Football. Ladies and gentlemen, Noah Klein. Congratulations, guys. That's awesome. Congratulations. 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 <laughs> Does he want to be William or Will? I call him Will. Yeah. Our next signee is Will Bradley. Yeah, Congratulations. 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 <laughs> Congratulations. How are you? If you want a will, we can make you a will too. But we won't be try to be formal where we can. I didn't know what to go with. <laughs> okay. 
Ladies and gentlemen, our next signee is William Bradley. Will will be attending Miami University at Oxford, and Will is currently sitting with a 3.7 grade point average. Will is a first-year varsity player, but this year exploded for 450 yards and eight touchdowns. He's the ECC and RP Diamond Player of the Week, all academic for the Eastern Cincinnati Conference, most improved player, and, I remember it fondly, had a game-winning touchdown against Lebanon. He also plays baseball freshman and sophomore year, runs, currently runs track, plays rec basketball, and is a member of the Biotech for Loveland High School. Ladies and gentlemen, William Bradley. You can keep all of that stuff, Will. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll keep the, uh, we do bring backups because they tend to walk away. I would like to invite our next signee up front, Victoria Bloom. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Nice to finally meet you. Thank you. Don't fall out of the bleachers. We don't need that, right? Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Victoria will continue her cheerleading career at Mount St. Joseph University. Victoria is currently sitting with a grade point average of 3.82. Victoria has cheered in high school on both the competitive and game day cheer squads, and after having two shoulder surgeries back to back, she achieved her goal of getting offers to continue her dream of cheering in college. In her free time, she practices stunting and tumbling and also is a volunteer for Health Source of Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, Victoria Bloom. Congrats, kiddo. Smile, it's a big deal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce our next student athlete, Tyler Huff. Congratulations, man. Proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Huff has the ability to continue his baseball career at the University of Northwestern Ohio. Tyler is currently sitting with a grade point average of 3.9. His accomplishments are first team all conference catcher, second team all city catcher, and he was the team offensive MVP. Ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Huff. I was going to say no, I was going to say something about you in the student section at games, but I let it. I decided to be professional. In a less formal descriptor of my friend, Mr. Huff, he's also one of the most energetic and generally appropriate leaders of our student section. That's where I hesitated on the bottom line here. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time I would like to invite Jared Whirling up front. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Watch your knees. Watch your knees when you sit down. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared. Whirling will continue his baseball career at the University of South Carolina, Lancaster. Jared is currently sitting with a grade point average of 4.06. You can ooh and ah, that's a pretty good number. <laughs> his accomplishments include being a second team all conference performer last year. Ladies and gentlemen, Jared Whirling.
Good job, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I would like to invite our next signee up front, Emma Kist. You gotta keep your eyes on the guy walking around with arrows. <laughs> Sit in the middle and probably mom and dad with everybody else behind, is that okay? Yep. Perfect. Don't knock the banner over. I'm gonna take one extra second before I introduce many of you to Emma. One of the neat things that we're able to do as we recognize our kids is introduce an expert in her field that most of you are probably not aware of. And also someone to be aware of, because if they're ever on your bad side, she's a world-class archer. <laughs> Ladies and gen gentlemen, Emma Kist will continue will continue her archery career at Lindsay Wilson College. Emma currently has a 3.89 grade point average. Emma is currently ranked 12th nationally in the United States in her age and class. She's a member of the Regional Elite Development Team. She has earned numerous gold, silver, and bronze medals from regional and state tournaments. In 2022, she finished second at the S3DA Outdoor National Championships. In addition to archery, she is also a member of Teaching Professions Academy. She volunteers at Nest and works at the Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. Ladies and gentlemen, Emma Kist. Congratulations, kiddo. Thank you. That is so cool. I had the I told your dad I had the twins at Lakota East. And we let them we had a big long hallway. We let them shoot in front of the school. Probably couldn't do that now, but hey, it's still cool. <laughs> Maybe next time. Maybe next, yeah. <laughs> Our next signee is Parker Braddock. Can I help you? Can I help you? They're not going to go off or anything, are they? <laughs> This is really cool. I, I don't know about the rest of you, this is really cool. I wish we could sh safely have you shoot one of these things, but probably not today. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Parker Braddock will continue his archery. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> will continue his archery career at Lindsay Wilson College. Parker is currently sitting with a grade point average of 3.911. Yeah. <laughs> Dad's like, yeah. <laughs> Accomplishments. He is for USA Archery, he's currently ranked 14th nationally. He's the 2002 is it Caribbean Development Champion, Championship, second individual gold medals and mixed team gold medal. The 2002 USA Archery Field National Championship, he was at third place. He was an alternate for the Field World Championships. It's always a good thing when you have to turn the paper over. Right, Mom? The 2002 S3DA Outdoor Target Nationals third place finisher is the Ohio State record holder, USA Archery Indoor Multiple Indoor and Outdoor State Championship titles. In his spare time, he's in his youth group at church, volunteers nest in the community and at local learning centers. Ladies and gentlemen, Parker Braddock. Very cool. 
I probably read it wrong. They don't listen to anything I say anyway. I'm afraid, yeah, I don't, I'm not. <laughs> nope. I'll shoot myself in the foot. That's okay, we got another one? Yeah. I'm not getting it back from him. Yeah, I'm not either. Nor am I allowing you to pick that up. <laughs> I would like to invite Joshua Dews down front. You guys are ahead of the game. Congratulations. Thank you. Josh, congratulations. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua Dews. Will continue his lacrosse career at Concordia University in Ann Arbor. He's currently sitting with a 3.4 grade point average and is a three year varsity player for the Tigers. In addition to playing lacrosse, he's also a member of Sons of the American Legion. Ladies and gentlemen, Joshua Dews. Congratulations, that is awesome. Good job, big dog, good job. Stay here. Could I have all of our signees minus their things um, to please come down front and we'll get you guys organized for a Sit in front, Emma, sit in front. <laughs> 